The M1E-10 Abrams tank represents the next leap in armored warfare technology, a machine that merges the battle-proven legacy of the Abrams line with futuristic advancements designed to dominate the 21st century battlefield. Building upon decades of innovation, the M1E-10 stands as a symbol of American military engineering, blending firepower, protection, and mobility into a single platform that ensures battlefield supremacy in the most demanding conditions. The tank is not just an upgrade, it is a revolution in the way armored vehicles are designed, with a focus on modular adaptability, advanced digital systems, and survivability against both conventional and emerging threats. At its core, the M1E-10 continues to rely on the power of its 120mm smoothbore cannon, capable of firing a wide range of ammunition types, from armor-piercing rounds to high-explosive shells, but now enhanced with smart munitions integration, allowing for precision-guided shots in networked targeting systems that can engage enemy armor, drones, and even fortified positions with deadly efficiency. The turret has been redesigned to incorporate an unmanned configuration option, reducing crew exposure and enhancing safety while integrating advanced sensors, thermal imagers, and AI-assisted fire control that can detect, track, and prioritize targets faster than ever before. Mobility is another defining feature of the M1E-10 Abrams, with its upgraded propulsion system offering both power and efficiency, moving away from traditional turbine limitations and adopting hybrid electric drive technologies that provide longer operational range, reduced fuel dependency, and lower heat signatures. This advancement not only allows the tank to maneuver across diverse terrain with unmatched agility but also makes it quieter and harder to detect on the modern battlefield, where drones and infrared sensors dominate reconnaissance efforts. In terms of armor, the M1E-10 is layered with a new generation of composite and reactive systems, capable of withstanding kinetic energy penetrators, tandem charge warheads, and even directed energy threats. Additionally, its active protection system has been refined to automatically intercept incoming missiles and rockets in real time, effectively creating a defensive shield around the vehicle. Unlike previous versions, the M1E-10 has been built with modular armor packages, meaning it can be rapidly adapted for different combat theaters, whether urban warfare, open desert, or forested environments. The crew compartment has also seen major changes, prioritizing ergonomics, digital displays, and situational awareness. Soldiers inside the tank now have 360-degree visibility through augmented reality systems that project real-time battlefield data directly into their helmets, making coordination faster and decision-making more accurate. Connectivity has become one of the most critical aspects of modern warfare, and the M1E-10 Abrams is essentially a rolling command center. It is designed to communicate seamlessly with drones, infantry, artillery, and air support, ensuring that it doesn't fight as an isolated machine but as part of a fully integrated network. This means the tank can call in drone surveillance, direct airstrikes, or share targeting data instantly with other armored units, creating a synchronized strike capability that multiplies combat effectiveness. Another revolutionary aspect of the M1E-10 is its adaptability to future weapons. The design includes space and power systems for integration of directed energy weapons like railguns or high-energy lasers, ensuring it will remain relevant for decades to come. Its defensive suite even includes counter-drone capabilities, where small onboard laser systems and electronic warfare modules can neutralize enemy UAVs attempting to scout or attack the tank. This makes the M1E-10 not just a tank but a multi-role combat system that can dominate both land and air threats in its vicinity. From a logistical perspective, the Abrams has historically been criticized for its heavy fuel consumption and maintenance demands, but the M1E-10 directly addresses these challenges. The hybrid electric system, modular design, and predictive AI-driven maintenance tools reduce downtime, making the tank more cost-effective and efficient to deploy. It's also lighter than its predecessors despite having more armor and technology, thanks to the use of advanced lightweight composites and innovative engineering. For crews, the experience is unlike any Abrams before. The traditional four-person crew can now be reduced to three with automation taking over some roles, or even remote operation in certain scenarios. In urban combat, where tanks often face ambushes and close-range threats, the M1E-10 is equipped with drone launch bays, allowing it to deploy its own reconnaissance drones to scout ahead, identify threats, and provide constant situational updates. This makes ambushes less effective and ensures the tank always has the upper hand. In terms of real-world application, the M1E-10 is not just a weapon of destruction but also a deterrent, a message that the US and its allies maintain technological dominance in armored warfare. 
Its presence on the battlefield shifts the balance of power, instilling confidence in friendly forces and striking fear into adversaries. Every element of its design, from its firepower and armor to its connectivity and adaptability, has been engineered with one mission in mind, to ensure victory in the evolving landscape of modern conflict. The tank is more than steel and firepower, it is the culmination of lessons learned from decades of warfare, combined with predictions of the future battlefield where cyber warfare, drones, and AI play as big a role as traditional firepower. The M1E-10 Abrams is a statement to the world that the era of the tank is far from over, in fact, it has just entered a new golden age.